Time now 636. September is Suicide Prevention Month. We're sharing a story of a woman who knows all too well the pain of it. Lakita is joining me in studio this morning with more on the message she's now trying to send. Lakita. Erin, this subject is always a tough one to talk about, but we want to be as proactive as we can. We all go through rough times, right? So asking for help is actually a sign of strength. That's the first thing to remember. I also spoke with a Memphis woman who opens up about losing her older brother to suicide a year ago and is now using her voice to raise awareness on his behalf. Take a listen. My world stopped turning while like I just it was so unexpected it was a devastation that turned Kaylee Johnson and her family's world upside down you never expect somebody to you know commit suicide in your life especially somebody who was so outgoing so you know caring of other people such a hard worker here's her older brother brandon whom she deeply loved and admired brandon was a lineman for middle tennessee electric company who was passionate about his career family and helping those in the community every time we went somewhere he knew everybody he was just such an outgoing caring loving person. He worked so hard for everything he had. Brandon attempted suicide last October and was in the hospital until he died last November. Kaylee says she didn't see it coming until it was too late. She stresses the importance of self-care and mental health. It's honestly so important to just take care of yourself for your mental health and you know, don't be afraid to check in with yourself and really be honest with like, how am I doing right now? How am I feeling? Research shows 800,000 people die from suicide every year. That's twice the number from suicide. There are certain signs that you should be aware of that could indicate that you were someone you know is suicidal, such as feeling like you're a burden or an increase in alcohol. So if you or a loved one are experiencing thoughts of suicide, Methodist Laboner Healthcare Behavioral Health Senior Director Sarah Schultz says, take extra precautions. For people who have guns in their home, that is the leading cause of death by suicide. And so it is just so important that if you have guns in your home, consider getting some gun locks for those guns putting them in safes, locking them up, because even though you might not be the one having thoughts of suicide, if a loved one in your household or a friend or a family knows that you have guns, we want to make sure that they don't have easy access to that in their moment of crisis. Schultz also recommends borrowing the hope of someone near you. Maybe that's a parent or a friend or a neighbor or a partner tell someone about how you're feeling. And to that person who's on the receiving end, I just wanna encourage you, you don't have to have all the right answers. Validate that loved one, let them know that you're there for them and that you will walk with them and help them get connected to someone who can help them. And if that's not enough, Schultz says, you should go to an emergency room for immediate help. Seeing a primary care provider is also an option, whether you're insured or not. Methodist is has put behavioral health services into our primary care practices. So, and we do take care of everyone. So if there's an if someone needs help, they're able to come to a primary care clinic. And I would encourage them if they already have a primary care provider, start there. You can also call the National Help Crisis Line at 988. It's a 24 seven help for mental health needs. There's also a mental health event coming up next month. It's called the Out of Darkness Walk, which is an effort to raise awareness and fight suicide. You can visit our website at ABC24.com for more details. Trevor.